Boy oh boy, another announcement. Whew, this is becoming uh, a little bit of intense. My name is Gabriel, welcome everyone. This is an audio blog for the occasion of uh, another announcement. The last one was Witcher 3, this time another 3, but this time Age of Wonders 3. Uh, I always liked Age of Wonders games. These are probably one of my favorite it comes to tactical uh, experience strategy games. This one's uh, different. Strategy games, we usually separate them into two categories. Real-time strategies, that's StarCraft, Warcraft, Blizzard games, but also, let's say, Command & Conquer, uh, Red Alert, these kind of uh, older titles as well. And the second category known as, uh, I think, uh, turn-based strategies. So, Heroes of Might and Magic, Age of Wonders is also here, and, let's say, Disciples. I'll be talking about uh, Age of Wonders. I played uh, this uh, series a little bit. I've beaten Age of Wonders Shadow Magic, first time I encountered this game when I was playing Age of Wonders 2. Uh, that was around uh, a decade ago. Whew, some time ago. Uh, and now they announce Age of Wonders 3. Triumph Studios will be responsible mostly for this production, I think. Yes, it will. They are aiming to sell it on uh, digital distribution. That's very good. It is. The release date is uh, will happen probably in this year, which uh, more or less is a good good information. Now, before I go deeper into this, uh, what I hope and what I fear, I have to say that one main feature of Age of Wonders as a game was always my my my, my favorite. What is this feature? Uh, it is the thing that lacks in one of the other top uh, series of uh, strategy uh, games like this, uh, Heroes of Might and Magic. Uh, in Heroes of Might and Magic, anyone who played uh, knows that the game, that the game is, uh, of course, a vanilla game, more or less centered around conquering. So you go with an army, uh, fight your enemies, take control over mines, uh, explore ruins, things like that, and, uh, of course, conquer cities. Uh, what I always felt uh, lacking in Heroes of Might and Magic is the fact that if you conquer a city, you can't change it. You can't do uh, a lot of things with it. You mean you, you just conquer it and you're the owner. You can expand it, you can build new buildings inside, you can uh, do a lot of things in it. It becomes an, a strategic point on the map, but what it lacks is that you don't have you just conquer. That's it. Now, Age of Wonders, when I played Age of Wonders Shadow Magic, I found at least one thing that I really loved about uh, the game. That was uh, the fact you can play the game on a much more... on a level much more personal to you. For example, if you want, you can conquer a city, then migrate it into another faction, another race. So if you conquer a necropolis, you can then with two or three turns change it into a, let's say, elven city. Then if you want to, you can enslave the population. You can, uh, of course, change it. You can deal uh, with a lot of things. You can find new cities. You can have a settler that goes, creates a road, and at some point of the road where you think that it is good, you create a city. Uh, so you can build your own empire from the very beginning. Or, for example, you can attack the enemy. And, if you have a lot of uh, forces, you can just burn everything in your way. You can destroy the, s the, the mills, you can destroy the mines, you can conquer a city, then plunder the city. First enslave, then, then plunder, then burn the city. So only ruins are left. So the flexibility of Age of Wonders is a little bit bigger. I think this feature uh, would be a nice additional also in Age of Wonders 3, but we'll see uh, where they will put this game, how they want to resolve this game. Now, what I hope is that this game will be uh, also much more friendly when it comes to modifications, when it comes to editing, uh, because these games, uh, the big power of heroes, of uh, all these, these games were uh, abilities to change uh, the gameplay, to add new units, to, to add new spells, things like that. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, this is another game uh, that I really want to see, I really want to try to play. If you have any experience with uh, this kind of games and you would like to check it out, here you have a link for my live stream where I was trying to... Uh, when I was trying streaming 
at Twitch TV uh, where I was playing um, Age of Wonders. I uh, hope you enjoy. Thank you very much for listening. It was always a big pleasure to be here with you. Uh, and uh, see you soon in another entry uh, on the channel Enduring Gaming. See ya.